welcome to my channel. You are getting ready to watch my very first attempt at vlogging and it's just our last few days of 2017. Um, mostly just me taking care of our horses and then a lot of our us trying to fix our water for our horses it broke and so there probably is going to be a lot of beeps of my uh, husband who was using a few choice words when we couldn't get things to go how we wanted to and it was 32 degrees and we were getting ready to go into what it is now which is in the single digits and then um, in the negative digits at night so it was really important that we got it fixed. Thankfully we do but I think it's hopefully a little bit entertaining to watch us trying to figure it out and yeah so I'll let you guys watch that now. Here you go, Ellie. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Did you find a bow? Frosty poop. Wait for mom. Wait. How's our tree doing?
careful. You girls want some hay? is the um, water turn off and you have to turn the water off here. You can't really see but use this long pipe and it has a little notch on it to turn the water on and off which goes down to there. See that? Which is where my husband PJ is trying to work on it. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I've got it off. Kinda. I'm gonna cut it off and re-glue the new one. I don't know if I can figure out how to do it. So what did you cut off? Oh, right there. So this is the the piece that's causing all of our problems and we've tried, or I shouldn't say we, PJ's tried gluing it and all kinds of stuff to get it to stop leaking. Scarlet, Scarlet. And obviously from the ground, there's scratch. It's still leaking. Ellie and I came out here yesterday and we picked up the ice so it wouldn't be a solid sheet like it is right here. Fall. I've never had a fancy waterer for my horses before, so this is really nice for when I like to have this, but it's not good when it's leaking. We've only how long has this been here, PJ? Three years. Three years. <laughs> and the girls. Snowball fight? Yeah. yeah!
It's not good, Mom. We got here all night. Melting the, uh, the heat tape, melting the uh, pipe. I don't understand. The heat tape that's around that pipe is melting it. The heat tape. See that tape that's around it? The heat tape. Why is there heat tape around it? Because I put it around it because it kept freezing about two years ago. Don't you remember? Oh, well, it's frozen. Why is, why are we doing this? Well, because this heat tape made the pipe melt and we're now got to repeat the pipe. But why did the heat tape make the That's a good pipe. friggin' question. For the folks at Mirror found. So wh what was the, where did you get the heat tape? Uh, mirror found. What's all the um, powdery stuff? Oh, that's uh, from the hard water. Because this is not soft water here, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh. So why don't you think you read the instructions right? I don't know, it's in the heat tape. Or the intake pipe. Lucy! See what I mean? I, was, I got to cut that off and I was like, okay, I'm just going to glue a new cap back on. I was like, well, how is that about three quarter inch pipe? Uh, and then I looked down and I realized that we were in for a world of trouble. So the whole pipe is warped that much? Right there it is, yep. Oh, so the, I just thought that that's how the pipe was. That's not how nope. the... Nope, that's why I tore, had to tear into the oh, whole thing. Oh, yeah. That's why I don't think I'm going to put the heat tape back on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, look, Scarlet and Scotch are back. Well, the only reason I put the heat tape on to begin with... Hi, girls. Is that it came with the kit. You know what I mean? And that was the kit to keep it from freezing? Yes. Really, all I wanted was the heater and the... Water. Yeah, I was hoping to just do it all from the top and use that little Dremel tool I bought and put a new glue thing on top of it and then yeah. bada beam bada boom. But boy was that. Alright, so I've successfully uh, cut off the end of the pipe and we've dipped out some of the water. With this uh, nice homemade jury rig thing here. This is a uh, hillbilly engineering at its best. Dipped out as much water as I could. Dumped over here. And then electrical tape is a wonderful thing. I'll tell you, working on a mirror fount when it's cold is not a good scenario. I think maybe I might call that good. I mean, that's far enough down. So I think this time I'm going to put a valve on it at the bottom in case I ever uh, decide to shut this one off. And I can shut this one off and isolate it. It's kind of my, uh, my plan here at the moment. But first, I'm going to do one more. See if I get any more water. Looks like We have our heater going. This is like hour 13. Just putting the purple in there. And you put a valve down in there. Oh, that's not purple. What's that? This is glue. Cool. Oh, that's actual glue. Oh, you said the purple stuff is prime. Primer. Put that down in there. Looks like it's a snug fit. So 
now we're going to dry fit the other thing over top of it and mark it so that we know where it's going to be. Wasn't fast enough. Hey, honey. Yep. I didn't grab the, uh, there's a plate in the back. Alright, give me that straight. 